Hello, hello, hello everyone. We've got an interesting match today. We're up against none other than uh, Western, Kentucky. Western Kentucky, I believe. Western Kentucky. I heard that they've got some GC1s, but I'm not alone in the booth. You already heard Carter, who's made an appearance before on the stream, but this time, instead of on the field, we've actually got Pops P in the booth. How'd you doing, Pedro? I'm, I'm doing great, Jay. Thank you for asking. Of course, of course. I'm, uh... Hoping, hoping that we can see your skills transfer into the booth as we have a big miss from Avuri. Avuri, is that how we're going to say this guy's name? The uh, Season 1 Champion Tournament winner. That's going to be a real threat on the pitch today. MX looking to go up here. Uh, Pedro, while we have the opportunity, not much happening on the pitch. So you have actually played with Chura and Spain before. What is it like playing with them? And how do you think that this match will turn out? You know, it's, it's hard carrying sometimes, but... You, you gotta do what you gotta do, and we get we get it done. Game in, game out. Still undefeated, but without me, it, may, it might be a little difficult this game. That's true. As you can see, Chura already lacking the ball touch. Um, maybe I'm I'm expecting that. Uh, okay, Deeb right there. That's MX. That's the sub in for Pedro. And as you can tell, the guys already look like they're in shambles here with Pedro out. Um, Although he might not be the most mechanical player on the pitch, he certainly brings something to the KU roster. Although MX, oh, can't find that shot, Carter. Sure, just going to play this back into his own corner. MX, you, like you said, is the new addition to the roster for this one, but he is not a new addition to the team. We have seen him play before, and we know he is capable of carrying some games himself. But Spade with the 50 Ooh. is just going to trickle in with MX following through. Kansas taking the first goal of the series. Bang. Bang? <laughs> Absolute heater from MX right there. I mean, what more is there to put on it? Bang. Pedro. Critical strike. From Crit MX. Critical strike. I mean, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Not much of the goal to aim for. He slots it into the bottom corner. No chance for the keeper. Awkward touch for the side of Western Kentucky. Chura just going to look for a 15 and does manage to get it by. Spade going to try to find another one, but instead it is going to be cleared into the orange half. And Avery looking for an open net, and it just goes in. Nobody back on defense on the side of Kansas. See, I told you guys that this Season 1 Champ Tournament winner was going to be a real threat, and he is already proving himself. Rocking the, uh, the incredible anime profile picture as well. I mean, really, those are the scariest players to match up against, Pedro. Yeah, it really is. That last goal right there just shows what... What they're missing, just a rock as third man, unfortunately. Very going the wrong direction towards his own corner, does manage to take possession, but MX going to 50 this one. Chura already up, looking for the backboard, is taken care of by Pat. And I think that Pedro made an important note there. They're missing the rock as third man. These guys all kind of trying to play aggressive. Chura showing how aggressive oh, he can be. Oh. oh my goodness, the double touch from Chura. Look at him go. Chura, not quite the flip reset you may want to see from one of the sides of the players, but Chura, as we know, can't flip reset, so just settles for the double touch, but no bounce, so it is a nice goal to take up the lead 2-1. Yeah, that was uh, certainly certainly a beautiful goal from Chura. Probably as good as we're going to get. Instead, he looks for a pass here. MX not going to get that past Pat, who is absolutely stunning out there with his Fennec. DIG Pro wheels. Now, I do have a question for you guys. How do you how do you guys like to pronounce those wheels? Diechis, Dices. What, what's what's the pronunciation for you guys on those? Well, I don't use them, <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't even know what wheel you're talking about. These ones, these ones right there. Those those Diechi Pros. Uh, I call those ugly. Ugly. <laughs> okay, okay. The savage. That's what I've heard them called before. Yeah. Yeah. Diechi. Okay, we'll go with we'll go with Diechi then. MX a little bit backwards on that touch. Spade going to get a 50, but not much offense on the side of Western Kentucky. Kansas able to take care of it quite easily. Oh, look at that touch from Pat. He just goaded on the sticks. Already up for the pre-jump. Oh, a fake! The G2 play! Now, Pedro, I'm curious. Have you ever um, decided to fake a ball that is bouncing off of the backboard? Have you ever you tried know, to, instead of touching it? You know? I can't say I have. Interesting no. tactics coming out from KU. Okay. Because, sure. I don't know, I was reminded of a play from week one just there a moment ago. But 
MX. Oh boy. Okay, does he have the double? He does off of the crossbar as well. Making the defense a little bit awkward with this touch. I'm not sure if he was trying to get the double. I think he wanted to just put it in, but is able to read the crossbar down and slot it right in the center of the net. One ten to play. Kansas up two. MX going to just take this one, get a little bit of control, and manages to get a 50. Followed by a second. Cheryl going to just boom this past him. Pat backwards isn't really sure what to do with it. He's going to leave it open for Spade, but not much happening on this one. I like that strategy for Pat. Now, of course, there is a historic goal in Kansas Esports history of Spade pulling off the Toe Mater strat. Um, a clip that he scored on against Mizzou in the Border War Showdown. And I like that Pat is trying to use his own move against him. Unfortunately, that time it didn't quite work out for him. With only 30 seconds to go, Western Kentucky is going to have to pull out something quickly if they want to bring this game back. And next, looking for a pass to Spade, but it is cut off by Squirrel, who is going to just have the ball cleared away from him. Spade already up for this one, looking for a net. Pat has an awkward touchdown. MX is there and he's going to find top shelf. Kansas up three with 14 seconds remaining. He's got that hat trick. Pedro, I don't know about your chances to come back. Look at him. Top of the leaderboard, hat trick. Eight shots. Three for eight already. These are the score lines to Tony. Don't know if I need to be in the game. <laughs> Another thing to note, Spade 0 and 5 on the shots. Not a shooter, just like in basketball. <laughs> but Spade just getting danced around by the defense. Chura going to find one. Everyone managing to find the back of the net. Spade still scoreless. Hey, he does have those four assists, though. You got it. You can't knock that. Before this goal, he still had that 100% goal participation, so you can't knock him too hard. And with three seconds remaining, Kansas is probably going to take game one pretty <laughs> handily. Pat going to look for a consolation goal, but instead is just going to be met with Chura, who's going to put this ball down. And Kansas going to take game one. Indeed, they do. A very solid performance there and MX the guy that we haven't seen play this season actually the top of the leaderboard very impressed by MX's performance there as he's rocking that GTA 5 profile picture speaking of GTA you guys see that uh, GTA 6 leak uh, happening on, on Twitter there is a there's a big leak Rockstar um, Rockstar Games not too happy about that one how's it looking uh, it's it's pretty early on in the stages. I won't lie. I won't lie. Not good. Yeah. Um, I was not impressed. You know what is looking good though? That jersey right there. Oh, uh, yeah. thank you. You know, biggest team in England. Yeah. It's just we're winning the league this year. Manchester I, United. I like it. I like it. Looking looking saucy, and bossy thank in the you. booth. I like oh. it, Pedro. I like it. Hopefully, we'll get to have you back here. Actually, hopefully, we'll see you on the field next week. Um, but likely to have you back. I'll be real. You know, it's just unlucky. The way MX is playing, honestly, just one to three every week. <laughs> Jared, I am curious. You are known around town as the Demo Demon. Okay. I'm wondering if Western Kentucky need to be a little more physical against KU. I think that's something that can definitely get in these guys' heads, um, especially MX. If you, if you start demoing that man, um, you, you've got a couple of possibilities. One, you might light a fire inside him, and he's going to absolutely peek on you. But uh, I think that the more likely possibility is that he actually gets a little tilted. Almost a goal there for Western Kentucky. Now, they did have one in that first game. But uh, they definitely allowed too many to come in on the other side as another shot. Western Kentucky actually looking a lot more solid so far in the first minute of this game. Sure, I'm going to go up and try to air dribble this one around the defense. Two demos coming out for the side of Western Kentucky, but Spade looking for the shot, not able to connect. And as Western Kentucky looks for some counterplay of their own, MX going to take this one and instead is met with a 50. You know, Pedro, they did actually pull out a couple of those demos that you were talking about right there. That's what they need to do, open the play up. Unfortunately, couldn't get the flip reset there, but they're opening the field up getting chances, applying pressure to KU, getting closer to the opening goal. Yeah, after that game one, I'm expecting that WKU is actually going to change their name to LKU, but I guess we'll have to see how the rest of this series goes as Avery trying to put this towards a teammate. Can't do so. Still scoreless a minute and a half into this game. Spade is last, does manage to get the ball above Squirrel. 
Pat deciding to put it into his own corner, but now it is open for Chura, who tries to slot it too slow on the touch. Saved away, and now Western Kentucky looking for the counterattack. A bump opens up net, but the shot just high, no boost to follow it up, and it is going to be pushed into the corner. Three minutes remaining, still no score. Carter, I am curious, what do you think, uh, what do you think Western Kentucky is doing to it? Stop KU from scoring as many in the first. Well, they they so far have seemed to be doing more bump plays and a little bit more demos, being a little bit more aggressive. They're also just deciding, you know what, we're just going to keep the ball out of your hands, not let you just outplay us. So instead we're seeing a little bit more 50s and a little bit more control on their side. As I say that, Pat gives the ball right away for MX, who doesn't quite have the speed. But a ball over Chura is going to have a shot for Pat, and Chura going to just put this into the corner. Yeah, KU definitely doesn't have the control like they did in the first game. They have not been in keeping possession, although as I say that, perfectly done for Chura and Spade. As soon as MX clears this one upfield, Chura knows exactly what to do. He finds Spade in the midfield, and you know he's going to slot it every time. The infield pass play, leaving the net open, Spade putting it into the right side, perfect placement. Otherwise, there was a great opportunity for a counterattack. But as we kind of move into the second half of this game, is the infield pass, Pedro, something that you guys have pra been practicing and working on, or do you guys feel like you guys are more of a counterattacking team? We have been told to try and use our teammates more. As I say, that an absolute screamer from Pat! Oh my goodness! Really, I think the only thing that was an absolute screamer there was your shout casting, but Pat, I will say that was a pretty solid touch. He comes out of the orange net to rebound and put that shot in. Honestly, unsavable shot there from Pat. All right, anyway, move, <laughs> moving forward. Uh, Western Kentucky able to tie this one up. Is that the type of goal that can be a momentum shifter for them? Finding, well, no, as I no, say that, no. it's actually just open. Spade going to drive it in. Past or curse, maybe, but an open net for Spade just plays it around one and is able to just drive this one in. Honestly, an awful read here from Carter, expecting that momentum would be shifted out of Kansas's hands. We all knew that Spade was going to put in that open net because that's what he does. He's the garbage man. He cleans up and he cleans out as this kickoff is going to go into the orange half. MX, look at that pinch. Are we going to call it calculated, boys? Are we going to call it calculated? Oh, you meant that. 100%. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> MX going to have a lot of space here. He's going to just take this to the corner and off the sidewall. He does like to do this a lot. Up the wall, dribble it out into the midfield, and it does manage to find a 50. Spade going to t tap this one to Chera, who is trying to air dribble around Pat and is denied. But this is some more pressure from the KU side than we've seen in the first couple minutes of this game. And I know that the coach, Prof, has certainly been telling Chera to work on those mechanics, telling him work on the air dribbles, work on the flip resets. Now the flip resets may have a ways to go, but clearly the air dribbles are working. MX working on his shot placement, banging this one home top left corner. You're not saving that one. An absolute banger by MX, putting it into the top left corner. An amazing pass by Spade as well. And he did need to slot that, because if he doesn't, that's three guys pushed up, a counterattack coming. But with a two goal lead, 50 seconds remaining, Kansas looking to just keep control and continue to apply pressure. Mm, MX with the banger. Great third man play. I would know myself. Absolute banger from the third man. Near post shot, no chance for the keeper. Honestly, it was a great pass by Avery as well. Now, it may not have been intentional, but he did have a great little tap onto the corner that bounced perfectly for MX. So maybe accidental, but Avery trying to return it to the other side. This time, going to come a little short on the double touch. Spade looking to flick this one around Pat, but doesn't quite manage to get it above him. Pat going to have to get another touch here with Chura streaming down for him. Chura already on the backboard. It's just going to play this back, waste a little bit more time. And with that three-goal lead, 15 seconds remaining, you have to believe this one is winding down. Oh my yes, goodness! Avery! How does he pull that off? Look at this Pat faking the flip reset, the flick middle, Chura. <laughs> you can't say that. Absolutely lost on defense is the side of Chura and MX. 
have no idea where the shot is going. Avery able to find the top corner, but still down two. It's still Kansas' game to lose. Yeah, I, uh, I would be certainly surprised if they did lose this game, Carter, considering there's zero seconds and they'd have to score two goals. That might be out of their range, and it is. As the ball hits the ground, yet another win for Kansas. They're, they're looking good out there, the Hawks. Uh, a little lucky, if you ask me. A little lucky. I think that okay. last goal for Western Kentucky might give them the momentum going into the next one. Yeah, and I... I know that I said that Carter was wrong earlier um, when he said that there was a goal that would give them the momentum, but that was because Spade had an open net. You know, Spade doesn't miss those open nets. Now, that goal off of an incredible finish by the Season 1 champ tournament winner, Avery, that could give them what they need in order to bring this back. Of course, they're going to need a reverse sweep, so it's definitely not going to be easy. And Kansas having the control so far in this series. Pedro, I want to turn it to you. You being a member of this team, what are you seeing from this gameplay? Do you like what you're seeing? Do you think some adjustments need to be made on our side to continue applying that pressure? I do like what I'm seeing. I, I need to see some more goals, though. I need to see eight, nine on the board. Eight, four, nine? Four is not enough. Dang, okay. Not even satisfied with the Brazil? Nope. Not a 7-1? You need eight I goals need eight. or you're not impressed? Okay. Well, that's a tough ask for KU as they're going to head into game three, perhaps looking for the sweep, but really looking for eight goals. Yes. If it's not eight goals, it's not a win. I like it. I like it. Well, five minutes on the clock, and we're about to see if they can pull it off. MX going to have possession here off of the sidewall. Can't get it past Pat. Pat has been such an incredible player for Western Kentucky. We're going to need to see Squirrel pump it up, though, as that one not going to get past Spade. He can't quite put in the shot, though. Avery looking for the bump on Spade is able to avoid it and get a nice push into the corner. Kansas taking control of the game from the starting spot. Oh! Spade finding the net. An amazing pass off the backboard by Chira and Spade able to just put this one over Avery. Pat, maybe a bit of a caster curse, calling him a rock on defense immediately. A goal scored in his face. But they need seven more. They need seven more, Pedro. It's a great start, though. Four minutes 30, they can do it. They've got plenty of time, but they need to put in a whole lot of work. Chura trying to do so on the ball here. Avery's 50 is going to bounce middle. Pat, the godsend for Western Kentucky. Not going to find this one. Randall Squirrel also can't put it in. Now the counterattack deleted MX. Look at Pat go. Can't get it past Chura, though. MX going to just put this one in. He got bumped, so he is going to be first to this ball. Is able to put it around Pat. Avery with the miss, but Spade not expecting him to miss that one. An infield pass to Chura, who doesn't quite get the read. And Pat going to just put this one down into the orange half, immediately met by Spade. Pat wanting to send this middle again, but can't quite make it happen. He's honestly looking quite reminiscent of Carter in the basketball court last night, just trying to put on some dribble moves, but ends up losing the ball, falling flat on his face while trying to put it together, and... Just can't quite make it happen. Chura wanted to put this one middle now. It is there, but MX not risking it as third man, and that's something that shows growth from MX, although he flies straight past the ball. Normally, as third man, he's willing to jump in for that. And Chura is going to put this one down to the other half. Three minutes remaining. Kansas still holding this one goal lead. But so far, this game, and honestly, the entire series, has just been all Kansas moving forward. MX in the back corner yet again. Clearing it is Pat. Interesting decision from him. Spade going to try and take it slow. Who's next on it? It's MX. Wants the 50 middle. Chura. Far back. Avery. Oh, we know what he's capable of after that last second goal in game two. Random squirrel. Look at him. Wants the pinch middle. MX off to Spade. A lot of back and forth play. Shot after shot. Going... From one end of the field to the other. But still nowhere near that eight goal mark that Pedro was looking for. Honestly, it's, it's very disappointing right now what I'm seeing. I think Avery has really put in a winning mentality since he is the champion tournament winner. He's instilled his winning mentality into the team. They're looking much better since. Now, they may have the champ one tournament winner, but you have to remember that these guys are 
Kansas Speedway land winners. So you can't take that away from them. They also have that experience and that capability. They feel they got carried by one player. Yeah. Well, two thirds of this team are Kansas Speedway land winners. Yeah. The, yeah, the other third is right here in the booth with us, Carter. Oh, yes. So you gotta you gotta tip your hat off to Pedro there. Absolutely carrying his squad to a land victory. Honestly, actually undefeated on land. Never lost a series on land. Pedro, we are in the presence of perhaps one of the best players ever. Speaking of the best players ever, Spade? Spade, where does that come from? What a shot! MX with a dime up to Spade, who is already waiting on the He's a lot! Putting it down into the bottom corner. Oh my goodness! How does he make that angle happen? Well, it bounced. Uh, not, not quite <laughs> as good as it could have been. Well, it bounced. But that does add another goal to the eight goal mark that Pedro's looking for. Mm -hmm. Two demos in net, not opening up anything, and there's just no offense on the side of Western Kentucky. Until I see six more goals, I will not be impressed, though. Every goal I see is average. Yeah, I didn't realize it bounced on us, so we're going to have to delete that clip. You better not put that on the Twitter, Danny, because if you do, I will certainly be disappointed. <laughs> we don't want any shots that bounce heading onto our socials as Tura trying to give us one here. He's got 100 boost. Let's see what he can do. Flip reset. <laughs> you thought. His mechs surely are getting better. After that one, I don't know. I don't know. Crazy to think that Jared would think Churro was going to try for a flip reset. We all know he is incapable of it. Someone who is capable of it, though, Spade, hasn't quite had the mechanic plays that you may expect, but with shots like off the backboard, what more can you really ask for? Uh, you could ask him to put in that open net, uh, but I guess maybe next time he'll pick up a pad and make it work. Churro absolutely soaring past the ball there. Again, reminiscent of him in basketball last night. Randall Squirrel. They've got a little bit of work to do. With only 10 seconds left, Western Kentucky could be on their last legs. Spade just going to waste a little bit more time. Is going to take this one up to the wall and absolutely body this ball like Jared was bodied in the basketball paint. <laughs> but with that drop, Kansas is going to take the series 3-0. A pretty easy, clean sweep. Mm -hmm. Easy, clean sweeps, just like my team winning in the basketball games last night. But, man, that was a fantastic series. You love to see it. The boys... Maybe not happy they left before I even got to see that final scoreboard. But either way, a 3-0 sweep, not the eight goal difference that you were looking for, Pedro, but a win in the books either way. It is a win in the books, but they surely will be looking back on it as a disappointment. As a disappointment, okay. Well, I'll check in to see with these guys. Um, I'll see if they think it's a disappointment. We're going to go get an interview with one of these folks um, from the Kansas Esports roster. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back with an interview.
And we are finally back. I'm joined here with MX after a big win. MX, you're so, back in the game. How does it sir. feel to be back? Uh, it feels awesome. Uh, I had to take some time off for of school and stuff and uh, figure out, like, you know, my life. But I think I, I did, so I'm really yeah. happy to be back. Uh, I think we had a fantastic game. Yeah. Well, I was waiting for this interview. Sorry for the for the <laughs> delay, guys. Uh, Coach was in there. Prof, Prof doing a lot so far this semester. I'm curious yeah. as to what he was picking your brains about after that series and, and maybe even during it as well. What was going on there? Um, so, so far, ever since he became a coach, I think that um, – the one thing I had to work on always was always getting out of first man back to third man. That transition was really hard. And if you guys saw the first goal that I got scored on, yep. that, see, that was my biggest problem when I used to be teamed up with Spade and uh, EMC. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something I changed a lot, which really helped out today as well. So I, it's just getting out of first man back to third. I think that's the number one thing that, that really like had a, 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 a lot of um, um, attention on. Yeah, well, you you seem to have done a great job on it after that first goal. Yeah. Um, coming away with the, the 3-0 sweep. Now, I don't know exactly the quality of the opponents. I would assume you guys were hoping to come away with a 3-0 with a yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we weren't even expecting the goals, but, you know, yeah, it happens. Now, um, Pedro, who you were in for here mm -hmm. um, today, he, he was talking to me. He was saying that he wanted eight goals, mm. um, and he didn't get those eight goals, so he might be a little disappointed with you guys uh, yeah. after yeah. after today, but he uh, he killed it in the booth, something that you've, you've been in here. You've been you've done some casting. Well, maybe not in here. Not in here, yeah. But, but you, you've done some casting for the yeah, squad yeah. before as well, yeah. so um, he certainly killed it, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Great job on the 3-0, 3-0 on the much. season now. Yeah, 3-0, let's go. Just like the football team, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little bit less notable, but we're, we're getting there. We're, we're getting working there, on yeah. it. <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta get some clout. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but yeah, congratulations again. Is there anything that you'd want to say to, uh, to maybe any of the guys or, or prof or anybody out there? Um, great job today, at least for the team. I think that, uh, that personally, I think Chura played really good today as well. He might not see it, but he's mm -hmm. a really good defensive player. And most most of the time on defense, he gets us out, out of awkward situations. I've played ranked with him as well, and he's really good at that too. So he needs to trust himself more. He's a lot yeah. better than he thinks. Yeah, he's definitely very hard on himself. But yeah. very, very... Uh very kind to the players around him. Very supportive yeah, there. So I like that guy. Sure, sure is sure is definitely great to have around. But mm -hmm. uh, that should basically do it. Again, MX, congratulations on the big win. I'm yes, happy to, happy that we got yeah. to have you in the booth. <laughs> you know. Um, but that is gonna do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.